Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever where we are filling in the industry and commercial of Willenhall. We're going to make this our hub city since it already has both south and northern lines coming through it. Off screen I decided to complete our fuel line. This is black line here and now I just need to add some trains so let's go ahead and do that now the wagons are going to be these tank wagons at a million bucks a piece whoo pretty expensive but they can do a hundred and sixty so we need a locomotive that can also do a hundred and sixty which appears to be these ones we can do the diesel ones right now but it might be a little bit slower up the hill. But they are basically half the cost. Hmm. Half the cost? One forty. Eight million. This is one forty and one sixty. Yeah. We'll go with the diesel. No, that's not what I wanted. By train, by the diesel, and then we'll place wagons. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll start out with seven. We'll put two on there. Ta da! Now let's do the replacements. Auto save, thank you. Wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn that on. Now, eventually, we will probably have to either double up on these or just simply switch to an electric. Probably an electric. And then, eventually, once these are at poor rating, we'll have to switch up to these uh, class 103s. 103s, 103s, anyway. But for now, we will have to see how the diesels check out. So I'm going to go ahead and pop, my, pop ourselves onto this train. Let her roll. And there is our first industrial train. It's a beautiful thing. We hope. Yeah. Now, we do want <laughs> uh, a little bit more income because we just spent 22 million. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but I think we'll be fine. We've just gained 14 million last year as opposed to the usual 11 and a half. So we can, we do get up to 160 going downhill. These trains are rated mediocre. Not good, but not bad. Okay. And we're going back up. And hopefully by the time we get back, there will be some oil waiting, crude waiting for us, which will be very good. There went the other train. So, up the hill we are... Hmm... A little bit slow. Reaching 140... But... Yeah, once we get up the hill it reaches 160. So we will probably have to change those trains out for something a little better. This is what I wanted to watch. We have 26 oil in there. Let's see. How much money is it going to give us? And it gives us... Da -da -da -da, 349,000. And we picked up 7 fuel. Sweet. Uh, 
let's see. What does seven fuel get us? Alright, come on. Get in there. Seven fuel receives. 237,000. Not bad at all. But fuel usually makes money. Why did I close that? Anyway, I'll just go here. Get the line. Um, I will go ahead and exchange these for the electric ones. Just to get a little bit more power into them when they finally do replace or when we finally tell them to replace which is most likely what's going to happen so now we have fuel going here which means we probably have to buy some more trucks one two three four five six there we go so that should be shipping more products throughout the city food and oil let's take a look at our truck line 21 seconds and 23 seconds that's not bad I would say definitely not like a train but it'll do for now what are we producing we are producing livestock and wheat Well, okay then. That's good. Now. Okay. So we got Will and Hall has something for industry and something for commercial. So the next step would be another thing for industry and another thing for commercial. So we do have... What is this construction materials plant uh, which we could bring in probably mm, hmm. I want to bring it by this place and then bring it along this line and in so we're using all of this line up just kind of bring it like this but this requires a quarry and the nearest quarry there's one way over here on the side here's another and that looks like that's it for the north any quarries in the south here's one right there there should be a fourth in here somewhere and it's right here so we can either go all the way from the south to the north or all the way from the east to the west this is a difficult decision so maybe we choose a different construction here's one and here's one this one has a quarry nearby of course, that would make us a ton of money shipping it from way over there. It should be four. That was only three. Where are you? Construction site. One, two. Alternatively, we could just do trucking through all the cities from one city to the next and by from one industry all the way to another so this would be the only train industry we train we would have for industry coming from here to here so that's set up and we have trucks for this farm Basically, we would have to set it up so that all of the cities are interconnected and then each industry is connected also across to where the cities are connected. We have to upgrade all of the freeways and also make sure that they are connected in a 
better fashion, then everything would be going everywhere. What is our income like? Made 13.9 million last year, and we're about to be into 2008. And we rank in at 15.8 million. Da 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 da. Not bad at all. So I can connect. Have that connect in. Bring it down here. Could possibly build a bridge. And bring all of these industries down there. Rock in to the city, across, and all the way down. So we want to try and feed as much into the Billen Hall as we can. I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're just going to have to bite the bullet and start bringing everything in to Willen Hall. So how are we going to do that? Is the question. Someone built on the bridge, I see. Another one on the bridge. Can I smooth that out? Nope. Uh, no. Alright. So one of the problems I have with this game is that buildings can build along a bridge. tends to wreck some things, but eh, what the game developers wanted, so that's what they got. Alright, so if I can connect here, hey, let's do that. Alright, the big huge task. Of connecting all the cities together. I want this to be like so. Come in. Yes. That there. A big problem with this city is it's on two different sides and it's not very well we go under if we go we can do that there we go delete that that way it gets under this way now I'm just curious if I can make that a little less wonky or is that it oh I can do that oh that's much better I like it now I just want to smooth this up a bit because that's ridiculous there we go that's a lot better now I probably won't be able to ever upgrade that but it doesn't matter to me it's all fine. So we can put a put it like this. And then we can put another one here. Okay. Get our line out. Start at this end. Drop off, drop off, and back. Drop off, drop off. Good. And this is road freight. Uh, Borham Wood Products. Actually, you know what? Let's shorten that. We will call that road freight. E 
and B products. E and B products. There we go. Awesome. Now I want row depot. And I'm going to go and stick it way out here. Buy road trucks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close that. Set those all on EMB products. And we're good to go. So now I want to connect up from this city to this city and then set their little industry up so that they're at least all connected. How in the world am I going to do this? I think we're going to have to just plunk it. Maybe I plunk it on this side and have it go through the city. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to connect it here. that in. Then we need one on this edge. Um, looks like it is going to have to be like this. That in. Yeah, that one doesn't particularly matter, so let's bring in the bus stops. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this? I do want to select these so that we can see them. Alright, so we got that part covered. And then we need to come... Down here? It should cover the rest of the city. Yes. This part's not covered, though. Well, that's just how it's going to have to be. So where did I put that? Right there? Let's do a little bit of destructing. Give it a little pause. Because I want this to come into here. There we go. I think that'll do just fine. Now we want the road depot. Connect one right out here. I'm also going to put one out here. Because why not? We have plenty of road depots everywhere. Road depot for you and me. Let's get another... Actually, we need this to have a replacement of these vehicles. Yes. And go. We're set. Why did I bring it? Oh, yes. New line from this facility to this facility to this facility to this one and back. Ta da! Hopefully, that's okay. If it's not, well, what are we going to do? So, road freight. Brookford products. Stick this up here. Pause. We're going to buy one, two, three, four, five. Brookford products. And then we want to do one, two, three, four, five. And on Rockford products. this going yes on check good to go and now for the exchange this one right here let's go ahead and do a little bit of road upgrades
There we go. Now I want a new line. Check that. Go from this facility to this facility so we can always transfer between the cities. I'm going to call this road freight uh, rock E and B product transfer. So all of the in between will be known as transfers. So let's do road vehicles. Uh, these ones. One, two, three, four. We'll just do four for now. On each, so eight on each side. One, two, three, four. So all on rock E and B. Replacements are going to be these. Check that. We're good there. And now we have to connect into from this city to this city. So let's go ahead and do that. We we'll go from this facility to this facility. And this will be known as road freight. Will dash rock product transfer. All right. We want that's a tram depot. So let's build another road depot right out here Oop, auto save Blah. so we want to have one two three four five will rock product transfer and products one, two, three, four, five. Will rock product transfer. Set that up. Good to go. Good to go. Excellent. Of course, we need to upgrade these roads. Hmm. Let's go ahead and redo this. There we are. Go back to there. That way we can just build the road which is better suited for our trucks. Which will be like that. Done. I go ahead and smooth this out. Perfect. Because the smoother it is, the better our trucks can travel. Well, faster they can travel, I suppose. Is what I mean. Connect this industry back in, right? There should be fine. Perfect. Get these going. Of course, we need to upgrade. Construction, not possible. Let's wait until we get our trucks passed. May I actually make this a tunnel. See if we can make it a tunnel or a bridge. No. Nope. We can do a tunnel, but that's kind of me. How about I can do that type of bridge, but oh my goodness, that is one heck of 
an incline to try to get into there. But if I go down, how do I want? How do we want to do this? It's got to go in there. I think we're just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. All right, it's pretty connected. Just have to deal with it. Occasionally, it's cut off by trains going by. I mean, they're not too often, so that's good. So now we've connected Willen Hall to Rockford to Elstree E and B. E and B down here. So now, eventually, they should be getting food and fuel. Yep, we just gotta, there's just too much being stuck in here, we gotta replace it all. So those will deliver down here also, as well as across the city, and then the new trucks will drive all the way down here, and then distribute, and then also distribute down to here. Which may mean we need a lot more trucks. But it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's so fine, yeah. Even after everything we spent on new vehicles, thirteen million, we still got a profit. Sweet. Now how do I work in the rest of the cities? Be easy to have a line go up here to Falmouth. Placements. All right. Vehicles. These are mediocre, and they have seven cars. If I do a replacement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and electric. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah. These trains are just. They're not pulling enough. I don't know if it's not. If they're. Because it's not fast enough. Or they're just not hauling enough. But now they have a good rating. With eight. Eight per train? Yes. It'd be good. It'd be great. How are these doing? 9 of 14, 9 of 42, 9 of 42, not great, could be better, not bad either. We are at the 1600 limit, how much, how's our fuel doing? Eh, could be better. Go ahead and open this replacement. And I am going to go ahead and add on mm. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Yeah. Leave it there. Oh boy. I just don't think I have enough trucks on that line. Three, four, five, six. And that is Woolen Hall products, yes. I may eventually have to set this up as 
And in fact, I'm going to do that right now. We want the large street, and we want bus lanes. Bus lane, bus lane, bus lane. That way, our buses, our buses, our trucks are not stuck behind the. Oh, oops! That one we want to have electric. Yes. So the trucks can use the bus bus lanes, but cars cannot. Buses can use bus lanes, and so on. So it now gives. Our, our trucks a free lane all the way through the city just to drop off goods which should help bring this down immensely and then we get a fuel train in and it drops off quite a bit of fuel not a big deal not a big deal but I'm gonna have to say that that is going to have to be it for today. Uh, we set up uh, ra uh, road truck lines from Woodland Hall to Rockford and Rockford to Elstree and Borehamwood uh, and of course within those cities as well. So each city is getting a little portion of what's coming into Willingham. And I think that's that's a good thing. We got tons of oil crude up here and fuel starting to come in, so I might have to upgrade those eventually. But that'll have to be another day. So if you have been watching, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you really liked it, ring the notification bell so that you can be notified when these videos come out. And I hope I will see you next time.